Pope Francis has a lot to say today about everything from sex to marriage and families. He's just written and released an important document, and KCAL 9's Cara Finstrom has details now and some reaction from local Catholics. This is it, the Pope's 256-page guide to love, sex, and marriage. This is not a manual of answers to all of the great problems. It's rather an honest attempt to raise all the great questions. At the top of that list are questions about gay and lesbian relationships. The Pope once famously said, who am I to judge when asked about homosexuals? And in his just-released paper, he urges priests to be more accepting and respectful. He sounds to me like he's a little more accepting than any of his predecessors, and uh, for the most part, I like him. But the Pope also clarified his opinion on same-sex marriage, saying there are absolutely no grounds for considering homosexual unions. Until the Catholic Church can start accepting people as a whole and being okay with gay marriage and being okay with uh, people loving each other and being good to each other, I don't think it's gone far enough. On gender identity, the document says, accept our humanity as it was created, which is not exactly the acceptance the transgender community was looking for. The Pope called divorce evil, but also left open the door to people who are remarried without an annulment to take communion. The document may not usher in radical change, but many we spoke with said it does recognize the great diversity amongst the world's 1.2 billion Catholics. Tom Hargrove, who was raised Catholic, said it left him with some conflicting thoughts. Part of me wonders if the Pope is attempting to evolve, and perhaps as the gay community, we should try to meet him the other half of the way. The Pope also offered some guidance to young married couples. He encouraged a morning kiss, taking trips together, and sharing the chores. Reporting here from near Beverly Hills, Cara Finstrom, KCAL 9 News.